besties let's chat so how was everybody's weekend we had of uh, the fourth of july weekend this past weekend it was really fun we um celebrated together for the first time yeah yeah for we had the like first a time. barbecue had some drinks it was, yeah it was a good time did some fireworks for the kids yeah not the illegal fireworks but like you know but the regular fireworks that you get from the little puestos yeah um but yeah it was a good time it was was we didn't get drunk though no we didn't get drunk we didn't want to get drunk (laughs) yeah i didn't want to get drunk no because honestly i mean we're gonna be drinking a lot this weekend oh my god speaking about that have you started packing no literally gonna pack right after this though so don't come at me oh my god me too oh my god me too sorry guys if you guys um heard me all like moving moving but we are the worst in packing we're like always overpack and i always procrastinate with packing i feel like just like packing it's not that it's not fun it's just so time consuming and like i need to make sure that i have everything and then i get stressed out and then it's like a whole thing oh my god and then we went to go get all this little stuff that we needed yesterday we're like going from one store to another yeah you know when you just got to get like all the little travel size stuff and Mm -hmm. like things like that so we went to go do that yesterday and it was a whole thing and we were like oh my god are the stores even open because it's like the monday after fourth of july and a lot of things were closed so we were like so scared but but the traffic was crazy yeah the traffic was bad way too bad but we have a very exciting episode for you guys (laughs) we're gonna be spilling the tea yeah it's gonna be like the topics of relationships and friendships yes ma'am yeah so like we said in our last episode we are both in a relationship right now right yes Wait, so how long have you been with your man? I've been with my man since May 15th of 2020. Nice, nice. He did like this whole grand like surprise for her. It was the cutest thing because he got in contact with us, like Maria's friends. And by friends, I mean two of us. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. (laughs) But um, yeah, and he like let us know his plan and everything. And we were like, oh, my God, like it was so cute. So cute. I did not expect that. Yeah, she didn't even know that we were pulling up. It was so funny because I saw the cars. I was like, what? like she's what? like, what the hell are my freaking friends' cars yeah. here for? But yeah. I thought they were having a party or some shit, and they invited my friends. I was like, what? All confused. But overall, it was really cute. Yeah. What about you, B? Um, I think your story, your whole like story with your man, is just so cute, and you guys deserve a story time with that. Yeah, we definitely like. I feel like our whole. I don't even know how to explain it, but like our whole situation. Yeah, like it needs its whole. The three of us. Well, we have known his man since 2009. Oh, his. I'm a fucking man. Oh, shit. (laughs) I have no idea where I'm coming out. Her man's. I have no idea why I said his. But her man, they've been like friends since Since we've been friends. Yeah. Yeah. So like we all met in the same high high school. <laughs> Dude, so, we're so over the place. I know. So we met all in we all met in middle school. Mm-hmm. Um, but we went to different high schools and stuff like that, so we never like you know. But you guys always like kept in contact. Mm. Mm, here and there. Yeah. Well, because you guys were like in that time, like in high school in different relationships. Yeah, for sure. But it was always that kind of thing where it's like the person that you expect that you're going to end up with type of thing, huh? Oh, me and Jasmine always knew you were going to end up with him. Yeah. We always knew. I had a feeling, but I would never like be like, oh, yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? Like I would Mm -hmm. always be like, well, if it happens, it happens. And if it doesn't, it doesn't, you know? Well, yeah, because you didn't want to get your hopes up. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just insane. You guys have known each other for like a whole ass decade. Yeah, over a decade. Like, you know, yeah. you're like middle school. I know. That's so it's so funny to think <laughs> about because middle school, it's like you did it even happen. Yeah, like exactly. That's what I mean. Like middle school isn't ain't nothing, you know, so we didn't even think that it was going to be what it is. But. but he always knew. Yeah, he did. We did. I think mostly he was like, yeah, I'm going to make you mine and stuff. You were just like, I don't want to get my hopes up and stuff like that in a way. 
Mm. I never hold my breath for anything. Yeah. I'm like, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So yeah, I was exactly. Like, you know. By the way, I think their whole story is so cute. Yeah. So it's like a whole thing, but um yeah we basically just known each other for a long time and it's like that person that you like always go back to in a way or like you're talking to like on and off you know type of thing so it was yeah. always like that but you guys have done that for many years yeah but now we're together so happy oh yeah <laughs> i was like i was gonna be now like we're happy and together. in love <laughs> happily together now so yeah but okay Okay, this is the interesting part. Me and my man have the same zodiac sign, and her and her man have the oh same my zodiac God, yeah. sign. That's Isn't crazy. that so weird? And we're so different. Me and me and my man are really different. Oh, me and my man are the exact fucking same. See, so that's he's like the guy version of me, and I'm the girl version of him. Yeah, I no, he's really calm, and I'm like some other type of level. Yeah, Shit. that's why I feel like you guys balance, balance each other yeah. out so well because you're super like out there and like social butterfly and stuff and he's more like reserved. Yeah. Yeah. But he's not like that like when we're alone and stuff. Well, like, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, like you see a side of him that other people don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, I just think it's funny that like we have the same sign. So what's your sign? I'm a Sag. Yeah. And I'm a cap. And so it's so funny because it's the best signs out here. Ha, literally <laughs> the best signs. No shade to all the other ones, but you know. <laughs> um, it's still, it's the best signs. I'm just saying. But let's talk about this generation's commitment issues. issues in relationships, huh? Uh, it's just insane. I feel like everybody's on the same page. Like, you can't not commit with somebody. I feel like. If you're talking to somebody, you just talk to them for the longest time. They don't want to give you a title. Like, I don't know. It's just. It's weird. It's definitely like. Mm -hmm. And also people are like. Just kind of like mess. Like not even like. Like how you said commitment issues, right? Like people don't want to be tied down. Mm -hmm. So they'll be talking to like all these like people and stuff like that. And it's like how y'all have the energy for that. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people don't have the energy, but it's just, it happens. I feel like you a lot of girls so? get hurt because of it. Because yeah. the guy, it's always, like, leaning on the girl. Like, leaning them on. I've been through that. Nah, but I feel like girls are toxic as fuck, too. Oh, no, yeah, I believe it. Like, guys have their thing, but also girls just be... I totally get that. You know? Yeah. Because, like, we say we say a lot of the times, like, oh, my God, guys are doing this, guys are doing that. But if y'all knew girls, ah, I know. girls just get away with it better. <laughs> Honestly. But, bitch, yesterday I watched it on Netflix Sex Life. Have you watched Sex Life? Okay. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of... Nudity? Yes. But... So you're watching like, porn? It's somewhat. <laughs> but, like, the plot of it like the whole thing like the story and like what it's meant to like tell you and stuff is just insane like it's just yeah. it's just crazy so you recommend me to watch it yes and but our like, listeners um yeah please but you need to wear headphones mm. <laughs> you need to wear hip headphones really they yes. be and stuff oh yeah mm. definitely um you get to see a lot of tits yeah and you know how you never see like um like dicks and stuff yeah you get to see one really yeah yeah i know i always found it fucked up that they would show like in 50 shades of gray mm -hmm. they would show like her vaginal parts like from the side view but like still yeah but you could never see christian gray's johnny oh, you know yeah. what i mean like <laughs> well, maybe he had a tiny and he just didn't want to show uh -huh. it he was probably like nah i don't feel comfortable yeah and then freaking what's her face she was like Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly the only reason i started watching it is because of tiktok oh really yeah that's where you saw it mm -hmm. yeah and the whole you need to watch it it's just a whole ass thing a girl finally giving a guy a nice guy a chance giving the whole world to her and then she's still stuck with that ex that was just toxic mm. was a lot and just she was just missing that sex Mm. that crazy sex when you get thrown to the wall that's mm -hmm. how that's how she was 
like honestly so like the whole thing is just insane like i don't know i feel like a lot of girls could relate to that yeah you know yeah so i recommend you to watch it got it noted yeah so it's really good i had a like sign <laughs> <with that. laughs> no but um going back to the topic of toxicness in like relationships and stuff I feel like a lot of people want to be or have an idea of the type of relationship that they want, but they're not willing to work for it because I feel like that's one of the things that you've learned now being in a longer relationship because all of Maria's past relationships, like they haven't been like this one, you know? Yeah, no, I finally gave like the good guy a chance. Yeah, he she used to go for like the fuck boys the guys that were all into themselves and yeah. like full of themselves and like all of this that type of person. The shade. I just <laughs> <laughs> I'm like that type of person. Oh my god. No, yeah. It I feel like a lot of my talking stage, it was not even relationship stage. It was just a lot of like toxicness. Like the whole thing. Yeah. And but you I- learned from it because now you gave the good guy the chance. Yeah, <laughs> I did. She was like, all right, this isn't working out. I'd, let's try something else <laughs> i know it was uh, it was time to give the good guy a chance i guess because if i would just go with a toxic ass freaking guy like what are you gonna get out of it i yeah. know no besides lessons learned honestly <laughs> my man is so sweet he's so patient with me honestly and so i appreciate which you that. need because with your crazy ass you need someone that's patient but my guy's the same way yeah it's so funny because our guys are the exact same because me and maria have like the same type of personality we're very out there very outspoken very yeah. like you know very i don't know how to explain it but really crazier not crazier but como we're not shy and we yeah. will be out there like if something happens like we'll speak up like and they're the type that are more like laid back like all minding their business and stuff you yes know? and i um, just broke a nail dude oh my god (laughs) what glue did you use i just was like fixing my thing oh and it popped off yeah oh i tried to do my nails in a budget and like the press on type you know like quarantine vibes like all over again (laughs) yeah because i don't have time to get my nails done so i just um broke a freaking nail but sorry we get distracted but basically Uh, where i was going with that is that when you are in a relationship with someone you need to compromise the thing about people is that nobody wants to compromise like people want things their way and just their way you know what i mean Yeah, definitely so definitely compromising is like what will help your relationship grow that's true and understanding that you don't need to be right all the time and knowing how to apologize when you are wrong that's that's my thing that i have to work on apologizing when i'm wrong because i don't i don't ever feel like i'm wrong oh yeah it's it's the capricorn in me (laughs) it's the capricorn in me i'm like it's the capricorn and virgo in me i'm like no it's it's the way that i'm saying it Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) it's like i'm right you're wrong yeah but i've realized too also like because we're on our like spiritual journey as well and i feel like when you're on a spiritual journey too it makes you realize a lot like how you interact with people and stuff like that now i don't feel the need to be right all the time necessarily i'm just kind of like open to listening to all sides and viewing everybody's perspective and then kind of like being like taking a step back and be like okay this is how i should handle the situation you know yeah yeah minus like communicating yeah it's a big thing for me i guess i just keep everything in yeah and it's just hard for me to communicate things so I don't know. That's something that I've been working on. That's good because if you know what your flaw is, you could fix it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And we're both aware of like what we need to work on in our relationship, which is what makes the relationship work, you know? Yeah. And I also don't have patience. Yeah. And your man has a lot of that. Yeah. Same thing here, though. Like I am the most impatient person you'll ever meet. And my man is like the most calm, most patient, most understanding. And I'm blessed. He really is. I'm like, I'm blessed. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just find your soulmate, you know? Yeah, I know. I, I know. Definitely. I know for a fact. Like, that's so cute. 
yeah i'm just like over here like oh it's so cute i'm over here smiling so big people that you like you can't see me like i'm over here like smiling because it's true <laughs> yeah well do you have a memory of like a bad day or experience with a guy or something like that like from the damn past? i have mm, you're like mm. uh, honestly like nowadays or like even like back then guys wouldn't like fully like ask you on a date like you know like they won't just be like oh like get ready like let's go on a cute day like i want you to um look pretty like dress up you know yeah. stuff like that yeah have you gone on a date like that like a bad date or like a date where they tell me like get Either. ready we're going somewhere like a bad date a bad date mm-hmm. uh that's hard huh i don't think i go on dates yeah see <laughs> i'm like i don't think that applies <laughs> but that's what i'm like I'm, I'm all thinking like have i gotten a bad day i feel like i have it's just like burned into but, like yeah. the part of your brain where you don't remember stuff <gasps> you know what i mean oh no i i think okay it wasn't like a bad day but i feel like it was a bad experience about a guy that wouldn't leave vanessa alone i remember Ooh. um we'll bleep we, it out but uh, okay. yeah so there was this once experience that me and like Mane we went out to get some drinks and just have a and good and it was just us too yeah it was just a good time and you know we were single back then and it was just a good time and well you know how guys they just tried to get your attention and like want to talk to you or whatever but <laughs> so we were just hanging out with this um group of guys a group of guys cause they were really cool like honestly and <laughs> I think this guy was just, like, obsessed with Vane or something. Yeah, so it was three guys and two of us. We were sitting at a table, and then one of the guys came in, like, talked to us, and he was super nice and, like, everything, like, like, not being, like, pushy or anything, right? Well, I think he was the one that was uh, doing real estate, too, or something like that. You guys were having No, he's, he's, he doesn't do real estate, but he invests in real estate. Oh, okay, okay. Um, but yeah, so oh, it's going to overheat. We got to take uh, a break, but let's try to finish the yeah. story. Okay. So basically we were there and we were talking to them, whatever. They were cool, whatever. And they got us drinks. Yeah. Right. We got the, what, what were they called? The, well, we got Jaeger shots. Jaeger bombs. Oh yeah. Jaeger bombs. Yeah. Cause yeah, we got right. the Coke or the Red Bull and the, oh, yeah. Thingy. Yeah. So we got like Jaeger bombs and stuff like that. We were just drinking, having a good time. But then like after we got our drinks and we weren't trying to like hang out with them no more this, this guy, guy was just like leave on me alone. her like he wouldn't like, leave me holding alone. her hand like trying to like um be like oh come this way like i had to get in between mm-hmm. yeah and i'm i obviously don't want to be rude but i also no me dejo you know what i mean so i'd just be like like you could tell that i didn't want to fucking do all that you know and i'd be like dude like the fuck yeah this motherfucker like you know i'm like dude but yeah i but see like i didn't go with him like it was just like we were out and then like he pulled up and he wouldn't leave me alone but ugh. (laughs) <laughs> it was but you know you know um ladies how guys are when and on girls night outs too when it's oh, just yeah. like you two or like girls and then it's like the guys and everything so it's like ugh. so we were used to it but it was just like this guy was just doing the most yeah i was like was. bro like we're not interested we're trying to go <laughs> ugh. but okay let's take a quick pause and we'll be right back did you end up watching the kardashians reunion I didn't watch the whole thing, but I did w- watch some of the previews or on TikTok. Yeah, I know. I hate that I don't have like cable or DirecTV or any of that because yeah, I same. can't watch E. Because um, I could watch E online, but then they make you like put in your TV provider or whatever. And I'm like, fuck. Yeah, you know? I never um, watch TV, TV. I'm always like on YouTube or like. Or Netflix, Netflix. or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. That's my TV. So if I have the app of the channel then i'll watch it you know what mm-hmm. i mean and so when i used to have cable or direct tv whatever the hell it was um i used to be able to watch it and now i can't but i did see the highlights me too but did you um see the part of how they were talking about their own friend friends um will hate on them 
Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, how they were all talking about how their friends are like the their biggest haters or whatever. Yeah. That they'd be like all cool with them or whatever, but then they'd be like talking shit behind their back. Because they barely started the their the show. TV show, mm-hmm. huh? Like back in the day when they first started their show, they were like, "What the fuck are they doing?" Like, and then the when hell? they became all big and stuff, they were like, "Then all oh of my a God. sudden, yeah. they're like, oh my God, you guys are so successful. We're here for it.'" And it's like, "No, you weren't." It's just like <gasps> I don't know how girls or like even people like just hate on people that they don't even know, and they just just want to hate on them. You know, like I don't know. I feel like I've been there way too many times. So, like, it's just, like, I'm so used to it, like, having haters. Yeah, like, ever since we were in middle school. Yeah. People would try to fight you. Honestly, people did fight you for well, no reason. Well, yeah. But like, no, like, you got jumped. Yeah, we, we need to tell them that story. Oh, I know. If you guys want to hear a, a story time with that, Of, let like, me know. the times that Maria has been in fights. Fun fact, I've never been in a fight, and I'm the most down <laughs> and she's like the one that's not trying to fight and people go after you because you're but not I'll trying to still fight. fight if I have to honestly well, yeah yeah I mean duh yeah like, obviously uh, you're not gonna let yourself get fucked up yeah no definitely dude not. but that shit was funny I still remember that some girl tried to fight me because I was telling people that Maria won and I was like she did I feel like a lot of people were just hating because because you I, won. I won this fight. You won. And then, yeah, and they were just like, oh they my were God. Mad. They were mad. They, they were, were mad that you won that yeah, shit. Yeah, they were like, oh my God, yes, it did, cause she because she won. Because it's like you weren't even looking to fight and they wanted to fight you and then you ended up beating their ass. So then they looked dumb. Well, honestly, a lot of girls just want to fight me because I'm really tiny. Yeah. Yeah. Especially like when we go to the club, it's always the big girls that are trying to fight us. I know. So Because we're tiny. Like, I don't know five foot tall 411 we're literally an inch difference so like both of us are like smurfs literally when we went to the club in la they called us fun size oh my god remember yeah. that uh-huh. they I called remember. us fun size they're like all right step aside here comes the fun sized crew and we were like oh, oh shit because everybody was so much taller than us <laughs> and we were in heels we were yeah. stiletto heels and still <laughs> we're sh- too short no well honestly i have had haters um over the years so it's nothing new for me yeah even like haters that were like low-key haters you know like you had haters that were like i don't fucking like you you had those type of haters but then you also had the type of haters that were like fake to you yeah and then we're like oh my god maria and then it's like oh really you You know fake (laughs) yeah but it's okay honestly i have never hated on a girl and vanessa could vouch for that oh yeah a hundred percent like i've never heard her say like dude i fucking hate this bitch like this like never like she's never fucking said that so like i find it so weird that she attracts that type of like energy when it's like you literally do not even care for any of that i really don't so i never like understood why girls was just like it's just because you're pretty literally like, honestly like why would you hit on a girl that's pretty like let me give you a reason yeah. <laughs> like honestly like i'm dude it's true like let me yeah. give you a reason to hate on me but like at yeah. the end of the day like you don't have a fucking reason like yeah. you really don't because they make up their own yeah it's so funny like honestly i don't talk shit about anybody like i'm not like that so it's just fucking annoying that all these girls back in the days or even right now like they just hate on me because yeah. they just want to like hate on me yeah it's so dumb i don't get it it's just frustrating you know because like even when some girls that didn't even talk to me and stuff and we started talking as friends and everything and then they will like take me on the side and be like hey like maria like don't take this like the wrong way but um i thought you were a bitch like i thought you were like this and that and then they tell me like you're like super sweet like you're super nice mm-hmm. and i'm like bitch i know like <laughs> fucking get to know me first and then fucking judge me you know yeah and then i also feel like people just kind of go based off of what other people tell them you know what i mean so like if somebody has like a bad experience with you or something like they'll go and they'll tell somebody and without that person even knowing you personally they'll make their own conclusions about you and it's like 
What was the reason? (laughs) No, I'd be like, I treat people accordingly. So you'll hear from one person that I'm the nicest fucking person and the most professional. And then you'll hear from the other one that I'm the biggest bitch. And both of them are true. Believe both of them. (laughs) Because we act accordingly. Yeah, that's true. (laughs) Like, yeah. But... But yeah, uh, we've haters definitely are the the people that motivate me too. Huh? You're like y'all are the people keeping me going. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> so keep on hating because if you want to keep watching me. Huh? Literally. <laughs> period. Because I have hate for nobody. Because like, why are you gonna put your time, your energy on in that? In that, like, there's no need. And that's why I find it so weird that that's what you attract because you don't put that out into the universe. I don't. You know what I mean? Like, you don't put it out into like. Yeah, your energy isn't like that at all. So I don't because a lot of people so don't try to get to know me. They yeah. just fucking go wanna- off of what people say. Yeah, or they just look at you and they're like, "Oh, she's stuck up." Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, but bitch, talk to me. Get to know me. Yeah, I'm an but, open but that's why we're so also good at like being on social media and being on YouTube and all this stuff because. We don't care it doesn't for haters. Face us. It we have doesn't. tough skin. Like y'all can say whatever y'all want about me. I know who I am. And like, honestly, I was bullied back then. I didn't realize I yeah. was co- considered bullying. Like I told you. Yeah. Like I was just like, what the fuck? I was. Yeah. But I was, guys. I it was weird, and I didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah, like you didn't even know that you were being bullied when you were being bullied. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, whatever. I feel like I've always been the type of person that never let anybody tell me nothing. Oh, me neither. Yeah. And I think that was the one reason that a lot of people were just like, fuck, dude, I thought that she was not going to do anything or say anything, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like, when people try like coming at you or something, like they'd think that you would stay quiet and shit, but you'd come right back to them and they'd be like, oh, shit, like caught off guard. Like, what yeah. the fuck she said, you know? Even like my family and you guys uh, know for a fact that I'm sorry, like I'm tiny and shit, but if you're saying something about me or bad or whatever like or you're coming at me the wrong way like obviously i'm gonna defend myself like yeah and that's the thing too that i feel like a lot of people are like or at least in your family they kind of get a little bit like weird about you defending yourself and it's like bro i'm not gonna let you guys walk all over me you know yeah yeah because your family's like why are you like that like you're so defensive this and that and it's like no i'm not defensive it's just that you let people walk all over you and i'm not gonna fucking let that shit happen to me but i mean um thankfully that they know that i won't let that yeah fucking happen yeah for real but but yeah, this like is you- why we get along <laughs> Oh, we used to bump heads. A we lot. used to bump heads a lot. But because like you guys could probably tell from like the way that we both speak and stuff, like we're like the same. Yeah. But is this a little bit like uh how you call it more what's the word more Me waiting to hear what me she's going to say. Me uh, waiting. No, I, I have the word. You know, we have like that word in there like. Yeah, on the tip of your tongue. tongue. Yeah, that's me right now. And I don't know the word. Because when it's, tú eres más como aventada. Like más de, like if somebody makes a comment to you, like full, like right away. Yeah. You know? I'm very quick to like uh, react. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So she's like really Maria's qu- a lot slower to react. Yes, I am. She is a lot sl- like she has to process what's going on and everything. And for me, as soon as something's said, I'm like, I caught oh, it. Oh, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. So she's you're always just like you're like not feeling the vibe or anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I feel the vibes like for real, like dead ass. Mm-hmm. Like whenever we're out in something and I could feel that a certain group of girls is like feeling a certain way towards us. And I'll be like, Maria, watch out because these bitches are like um looking at us a certain way or like they're like Mm -hmm. you know plotting or whatever the hell like i feel like i'm a little bit more calmer than vanessa and no like a little bit yeah you are but because of the fact that mostly people go after you yeah so that's why i look that fucking innocent yeah and for me like i probably look like somebody you're not trying to fuck with like just because of like the tattoos and like my the way i present myself yeah pretty much have like a bitch face yeah and for you it's like you look more quiet you look more like innocente like you know what i mean and so for me if it's between me and maria like people are gonna want to go after her they're not gonna want to come after the bitch that has tattoos and is cussing people out yeah you know (laughs) 
but they're just like, <laughs> they oh. go after the quiet one that's trying to hold down the crazy one yeah yeah i'm always trying to hold hold her down for but it's because things. the reason that i get crazy is because of you like yeah. you know like people are trying to come after you and i'm like bro she's not even the one like if you want the one i ah, just kidding. yeah <laughs> <laughs> but you know what i mean like i'm just like dude stop trying to come after my little friend like mm-hmm. i'm like the mom i'm always yeah. trying to protect the people ja- like no you and jasmine yeah no we're you the both. yeah because when i go out i gotta make sure that my ducklings are in a row yeah. like because i'm the tallest one too so like i feel that responsibility where like i'm the protector if we go out so it's like yeah yeah and it's so so fun. that's why i'm very quick to be like don't mess with my little ones yeah <laughs> you and jasmine like dude jasmine doesn't get like our other friend in a situation she's already like taking off her earrings dude, this bitch as soon as i see her taking off her hoops i'm like oh shit oh shit yeah and i'm always the one that needs to calm both of them down because i'm always just being like dude it's not worth it i mean but they're just like like dude no like hell no well like, the reason is though it's like if you let people like act that way towards you they're gonna keep doing that shit well, towards that is you. true and so like i don't like being in a spot and feeling like uncomfortable or feeling like somebody's trying to test me like i'm like you know yeah. what i mean like i'm like no bitch like i'm here to have a good time we're all here to have a good time if you're not trying to have a good time or you're bothered you can leave dude i don't think they can hear that can you hear that <laughs> but you know what i mean like i'm just like we're all here oh my god like that time that we went to the club and the guy was trying to fight me do you remember that it was me you and bola just us it's when the big bitch tried to fight you oh my and god then the guy yes. tried to fight me you went to go get a drink or something so you didn't you weren't mm-hmm. there for the part that like the guy was trying to fight me but a guy was trying to fight me dude and she was not letting herself she was so mad i got back and she was living let me explain okay so we were already triggered because we were chilling by this section it was like the vip section over here and for you guys that are listening on the podcast you guys need to watch on youtube because we we use our hands to talk okay (laughs) but okay so they were like right here and we were standing like right next to the area but like we weren't in the vip area we were just waiting for the banda to set up and And they had couches they had couches Mm -hmm. and but they had like those like um ropes that like separate the vip section Mm -hmm. from the general section or whatever no it was okay it was too fine (laughs) and so me and maria and my uncle had gotten drinks and we were waiting for the banda to set up and we were like oh we're gonna stand right here that way when the banda comes on we could go to the floor Mm -hmm. dance whatever and then maria just like laid or not even laid but kind of like say apoyo in like the couch right yes because my heels you like leaned on the couch sorry for the people that don't understand spanish yeah yeah well because i was tired and then all of a sudden so I like s- the ropes were on the side mm-hmm. of the couch and she was on the outside but she was like leaning on the couch like so she doesn't keep stand in mind that heels. couch was pretty damn big and the vip section was huge there was nobody in the vip section by that side of the mm-hmm. couch that we were at they were all on the other side like drinking with each other and stuff like that and so what happened and um obviously i'm not gonna s- lean on it if somebody is there you know but there was, there was nobody, nobody there. there like nobody sitting on the couch mm-hmm. at all and everybody I was, was tired. standing up drinking yeah and i was like dude i'm already tired and then all of a sudden i'm sitting down or whatever kind of leaning on it and this girl like um starts fucking shoving, shoving me her i was just elbow like, in her ass basically or like I on was her like, back excuse me and i just stand up and then she was so she okay so it was like a triangle so she was right here i was right here and my uncle was right here and i was trying to take a snap of our drinks so i didn't even notice that maria mm-hmm. was going through this right and then that's when i um i had to get up and then i don't know i think i made a comment you got up and turned around and you said what the fuck i'm pretty sure that's what it was yeah I don't. you got up and you turned around and you were like what the fuck and then she was like what did she say i don't know but that's when i got close to you and i was like dude i was like no because bitch hella fucking mm -hmm. pushed me right now because i remember that you told me like not told me but i heard you say what What the the fuck fuck? and you turned around and so that like made my little instincts come up and i was like what the fuck who's what the fuck you know like yeah so (laughs) that happened and then um 
I don't know if we like had like a did we talk back to each other? I forgot. It was a, like a while. Ago. She she was acting stupid because she was the only one out of the whole VIP section that came up and made it her business to be like right where we were at. Yeah, but and then after we left because yeah the we left because energy was not it. And we they were big there. girls, guys. Like we're not trying to put anybody down, but like I said, five one four eleven. Like we're tiny, and these girls were huge. So we were like, all right, we're not trying to fucking mess with <laughs> people yeah. that could, you know, crush us. So we went to the baile side. And so me and my uncle were dancing. So at this point, the banda is like already on. So I'm over here dancing with my uncle. Maria went to the bar to go get another drink. Mm -hmm. And so I'm over here dancing. And you know, when you're dancing, people just kind of like bump into each other. But it's like whatever. Because me, I mean, like everybody's in the fucking remember? everybody's in the baile. Everyone's dancing, whatever. So you don't care. And so, but I kept feeling this fucking person bumping into me, right? And so I started getting a little bit like, what the fuck? Like, why does this person? And keep... it was the same person. Like, and it was, it was the same, same person. And it, I didn't know that it was a guy uh -huh. at the time because I didn't turn around. And it was a group of guys and one or two girls. And so, but it was mostly guys. Mm -hmm. And so they were behind us and I was just dancing with my uncle. And then I feel a freaking elbow in my back like straight up this guy just went like boom like because when like we were like dancing whatever and then this one time i did like when we like we both moved to the same side mm -hmm. and so i did bump into him by accident obviously i wasn't doing it on purpose but this fool just fucking elbowed the shit out of me and like i said i'm quick to react so as soon as i felt an elbow in my back i returned that shit yeah <laughs> i like just fucking i was ready i was like boom and um it was a fucking dude. So I turned around and it's a fucking guy that I just fucking shoved. And he was like, what the fuck, bitch? Like this and that. And then like, I was like, what the fuck? You're the one that fucking hit me first. You're fucking hitting a girl while we're fucking dancing. Like we, yeah. I was going off. Like I was, and then the girl grabbed the girl that was in that group, grabbed their guy friend. And I was like, bitch, if your fucking guy can't be fucking, um, dancing, get him off the fucking floor. Like people that mm -hmm. are dancing are bumping into each other. If he's going to be fucking pressed about that, get him the fuck out of here. Like I was going off and like my uncle was there and he was like trying to like get me to go away and stuff like that. But like I said, I'm not the type that like lets myself. So I'm like, bitch, get him off the floor. If he And he was drunk. He was drunk as fuck. So like he would have swung and my uncle would have like, you know, like it was a whole yeah. thing. I but feel like the, both of you guys were just like jumped him yeah dead ass and even though they had a bigger group <laughs> but <laughs> the girl like right away knew that his uh, his friend or her was friend was in them. the wrong yeah. yeah so like they eventually like left and stuff but i was like dude this is why we don't come to this fucking club but it was crazy because the whole night it was, was just not bad vibes it. like people just hated us for being there no i think it was just like the whole energy like we were not having a good night but like it was just not yeah. a good night honestly not a good night even even when it started because we even told each other we're just like dude it feels kind of off yeah because remember like the top section was reserved out yeah. so we had to be in the basement section and as soon as that happened Happen, we were like oh bad vibes yeah so shit like that that happens to us when we go out and it's just because we're tiny i know yeah. Pero no nos dejamos, so oh, no. that. yeah and that's why you feel like people get mad too because like we don't let ourselves get mm -hmm. like walked all over but honestly like we're always welcome for new friendships dude and it's so sad because we always go out there like wanting to meet new friends like we're the type that like if we see you in the bathroom and your eyelash is coming off like i'll help you put your eyelash back on oh my god you know what the i bathroom mean bathroom conversations with drunk girls is just only amazing. with some drunk girls though because some drunk girls are not but honestly I, I have gotten some nice all the time fuck no time. remember when we were at motive and these bitches tried to fight us in the bathroom because i made you guys cut Oh my god, I'm so dead. I was so confused. I, remember when I was confused? I yeah. Was, oh. And they were looking at you hella stupid because you were confused, and I was all mad. Because I did. I I was. I just got out of the bathroom. Yeah. Or something like that. And then I think I heard the you girl. The no, the girl outside of the bathroom was like saying something, yeah. and me and Jasmine were in the stall, and you had just gotten out of the stall, and she was saying some shit about like some bitches like cutting or some shit like that. Uh -huh. Because I was like, oh, like oh my, my friend God. just needs to wash her hands, but my friend was on her period and she needed to go to the bathroom, and we weren't gonna wait in that big ass line because when you're on your period and you're on, you like you need to go, mm -hmm. especially if you need to like change your stuff. So like I was like, no, like let's just say you're gonna wash your hands and then just hop right in and so we did that and i got her to go in and stuff and this bitch was talking shit because i made them do that and so it almost went down in the bathroom too yeah i think i was pushing vanessa 
Vane and Jasmine and we'll like Vanessa was just making her like little comments just be like just fucking go pee on the fucking um just sink. pee in the sink yeah, 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 yeah. I remember I was like if this but bitch is so, pressed like, about confused. using the toilet use the fucking sink I, I, hate, my, like, I hate myself I'm always you like, are so, so confused. confused pero por eso ellos they go after you porque tú te pareces como la más mencita no, ah! not to be fucked up but like yeah you never know what's going well, on because like you're never like I'm aware like, and i'm so aware yeah. all the time all the time well, i'm so like, aware I'm of my surroundings my and, she's over here like, ah. and i'm like maria this fucking bitch is trying to fight us and you're over here like, ah. like well i was fucking goofy i was minding my damn business until i was hearing vane and jasmine fucking doing those compliments like i was like what the fuck happened yeah i was just confused and that's when they told me when we got i was like dude they were just fucking talking shit that we could or whatever like yeah that we cut or whatever and i was, and I was like, like bitch if you were on your period and you would have came up to me and told me that you were on your period i would have let you cut in front of me too so i don't know what the fuck you're mad about yeah like <laughs> we have a lot of stories let us know if you guys yeah there's so many stories but i mean like we said always available for friendships <laughs> we really are but we always get fucked over yeah we always get fucked over but it's okay I don't care. It's kind of sad, but it's okay. You know? We've gotten used to it. But oh, when yeah. you guys are listening to this pod, if you guys listen to it when it comes out, we're going to be in Vegas. Vegas. Our, second our, best day, life. our second day in Vegas. Yeah. So we're super excited. And we're, we're actually vlogging that. Yes. So Vegas vlog part 100. Ad. 100. <laughs> Even though we only um, vlogged one of the times that we went. But we had two parts to that video. Yeah. Yeah. But we only vlogged like one time. One we went to time. Vlog. Yeah. But we have gone to Vegas multiple times. Yeah. So we're going to vlog it. So you guys are going to finally meet our men. And we're going to do more things. We're going to be more like, exciting. yes. So this video is obviously coming up on a Friday. So the day that we film our um, or record slash film our Tuesdays. Um, so we're here on a Tuesday club on going up on a Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> but um, but we post on Fridays. So you guys um, will see this then. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening to our like crazy ass stories, stories like oh venting and stuff and ranting. Like, yeah, pretty much. Let <laughs> All us of the know, above. Let us know your stories like down yes, in the comments. If you guys have crazy stories, let us know because we can't be the only ones. I swear something always has to happen when we always. go out. So hopefully we catch a lot of it on the vlog. But whatever we don't catch on the vlog, we'll definitely have story times for oh after we come back. Oh my God. Yes. We're going to let you guys know the little the detail tea. the little details t you know yeah the little details that we didn't get to catch on camera like if yeah yeah whatever super excited it. but, but yeah, guys. yeah so we will see you guys in our next one have a safe weekend and what else that's pretty much it thank you guys thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys in our next episode bye